you finished playing, take a shower. If you have a question about your homework, ask me. If and if and if. Those are all called conditionals. You may have not heard this word before, but I am sure once you know what is it, it will ring a bell. We get exposed to conditionals every single day, tens of times. Your parents use it, your teachers use it, and you yourself keep using it all the time. Conditionals are also known as if statements because they always start with the word if. They usually have a minimum of two parts, a condition and an action that can never happen unless the condition is satisfied. Let's bring an example from real life to make it clear. In a visit to the amusement park, some rides require a certain height for safety measures. So, if your height is above 140 centimeters, you can join group A, else join group B. So if your height is anywhere less than 140 centimeters, you are not satisfying the condition, so you fall within group B. Sometimes, this statement can get expanded a little more to give you this. If you are in group A and you like speed, go to the roller coaster, else go to the ferris wheel. If we try to draw this conditional statement in a chart, we will have this. And this chart can be expanded more and more. The more we expand it, the more conditional statements will be included, which will create something called a nested if statement.